Hi, it's Pete here from Tap In Golf Stats. Welcome to this week's coverage of the latest round in the US PGA. Now, just before we go ahead, we have uh, Harry Hacker on the line. Uh, Harry, are you there? Hi, Pete. It's Harry here. I'm just wanting to know who won the Zurich Classic. Well, Harry, I was just about to make that announcement, but just for you, soon you'll know. And the winner is... is soon you'll know. You mean you don't know who the winner is? Is it over then? No, it wasn't Jeff Overton. So who was it? Uh, soon you'll know. Well, what's stopping you? Uh, nothing, I just told you. What? The winner of the Zurich Classic. So tell me again. Uh, no. Why not? Huh? No, huh, did not play in this tournament, but we did. Well, you might have, but I certainly didn't, which is why I'm asking you for the name of the winner. Okay, I'll tell you again. Soon you'll know. Now do you understand? No. That's right. No is right? Yes. And what is his full name? Soon you'll know. Oh, please tell me now. Look, what country was he from? Uh, South Korea. And soon you'll know the winner. That's right. Can you tell me who came second? Now that was a tie. I didn't know there were any golfers from Thailand in the tournament. Well, Harry, uh, we're just having a bit of trouble getting that message through to you, so we might just leave it there. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, yes, soon you'll know, was the winner, first-time winner on the US PGA Tournament. Congratulations to the 22-year-old. A fantastic effort. Led the field by two shots coming into the last round. Extremely windy conditions. With all that pressure, he held up well and was a two-shot victor. Let's analyse some of his stats now. Undoubtedly, one of the major reasons that soon you'll know came up trumps this week was his amazing ability to scramble. Have a look at these opportunities. He had 14 up and downs from 16 opportunities through the week, an amazing percentage of 93%, achieving 100% in the first three rounds. Sung Yul's putting was amazing. He averaged 27.3 putts for the tournament. And in the last round, he had 28 putts, the best on the front nine of 11 and on the back nine of 13. This is the stat that I like. Sun Yul averaged nine one putts per round with a high of 11 and a low of seven. Here are his performances for two putts and just the solitary three putt there in the last round. Plenty of birdies to be had by Sun Yul with 22 birdies for the tournament. 7-4, seven, 7-4 four, seven, four in each of the four rounds. We'll check out some of the holes that Sunyul played. Here's the 10th and you can see that he has birdied this on three of the four occasions. Three fairways, four regulations and a total of five putts. Likewise on the 13th hole a very similar performance with uh, three birdies on the four rounds. And what a performance here on the 16th hole. Four fairways, four regulations three birdies with the most timely birdie being the one on the 70th hole which was to give him a two shot lead going down the last two holes. Sun Yul had a eclectic of 13 under par 59 a great performance at the Zurich Classic. Sun Yul had two rounds of 65 in his winning score. Here's one of them the first round on the Thursday just have a look at all those regulations just two greens in regulation missed. Not that good a performance with the fairways but boy the regulations made up for it and look at that putting all those one putts here are Sun Yul's stats for his fairways an average of 57 percent a bit below what you'd expect but obviously his misses weren't bad misses greens in regulation 16 15 14 and dropped off to 11 in the last round but that wind was treacherous Congratulations, Sun Yul Know, for your maiden victory on the US PGA Tour. I'm sure there's plenty more to come. It'll be interesting to see how he goes next week at the event at Quail Hollow, the Wells Fargo. All the big guns will be lining up. We'll look forward to seeing you then.